Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for, uh, for January 14th through the 21st, 2018. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my uh, Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, so I just seen that Atlantis card. So this makes me feel like if it didn't happen, it's getting ready to, okay, if this reading is for you. All right, the first card right here is seems like somebody is, um, I feel like somebody is very emotional with somebody um, that they're with, and I feel like it's because somebody is getting gifts, okay? Okay, so I feel like somebody is overwhelmed. I feel like with emotion because of something that was given to them. All right? All right, let's see what's going on. All right, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Aries, Aries, Aries. All right. All right, so we got the receptivity card reversed here. So, okay, this is starting to make a little more sense. So it seems like... I feel like in, in this situation, somebody has never given um, you anything. It could be the other way around, too. But it seems like somebody has never given you anything, but I feel like now somebody has given you something, okay? Somebody is now starting to do things for you or now just did one thing for you, and it just was so overwhelming emotionally. I feel like this is somebody has gotten a good feeling from something that somebody is doing for them, all right? Oh, goodness, this is what I was thinking. All right, so it seems like somebody is doing these good things for you because of manipulation, okay? So it seems like you're giving, 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 and I feel like somebody might have been sick of giving, and I feel like somebody was getting ready to stop, and I feel like somebody may have given you something just to be like, oh, well, you really do care, or you really do like me, okay? But it seems like the reason this person is giving you something or doing something for you is so they can get more from you, okay? All right. Oh, goodness. All right. So we got the unseen card reversed here. So this makes me feel like either you're dealing with an ex or the person that you're dealing with is dealing with their ex. All right. Let me pull this down. Okay. But I'm getting a stronger feeling like um, this is dealing with an ex or somebody that you used to deal with. So it's like you calling, 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 and then finally somebody call you back. But I feel like they only call you back because they, they want something. Okay. All right. Mm. All right. So we got the arrogant card. So it seems like somebody is arrogant. They think everything is theirs. And it seems like they know that you're getting ready to start backing out of the situation. So they trying to act like they care just to manipulate you to make sure you don't leave. Okay. You don't completely close the door on the situation. All right. So we have the sisterhood card here. This is like this could be friends or family. Um, or co-workers, people at church, people at school trying to protect you from this whole situation and this ex. They want you to leave and keep going, okay? And I feel like you, the feeling that you got from the person that you're dealing with, you don't want to, um, you don't really want to give it away. But I feel like these print friends are trying to protect you because they know what this person is trying to do. So you want to believe in them, okay? You want to trust them. All right, so now we have the dreams card. So it seems like before these uh, friends and family of yours were trying to warn you about this person you're dealing with, I feel like you're having dreams about the situation too. You're getting spiritual dreams and you're getting like physical people warning you to stay away from this person because they are trying to manipulate you. All right. All right. Well, I got to move this over here. Hopefully nothing. I knew stuff was going to start falling. I need to do something about my, my junkiness. All right. So here we have the future fate card, the future destiny card. Um, I feel like this is going to be some kind of lesson for you. Um, I feel, I hope you don't go the wrong way, but I feel like you should listen to your spirit guides and listen to your friends or family or coworkers because they're telling you the right thing. Uh, but I feel like you're definitely going to get a lesson about this situation. 
of about this person okay because right now is like you're not seeing this person as a manipulator you were thinking that they're using you but i feel like it's just showing you a different part of this person but let me get one card for this prophecy card give me one card please for the aries all right yeah, so it seems like you hoping and dreaming and wishing that this person is going to do something or, or be something else, okay? But it's not going to happen like you want to, like you wish. You are making yourself believe that this person is a good person. In reality, this person is not. And I feel like all these secrets are getting ready to come out, okay? So it's going to come out if you do these things for this person or, or if you don't do them. I feel like it's going to come out. But I feel like it's only going to come out after you do it for them okay but i feel like the main part the if the some hurt hurt is going to come out if you just go ahead and, and play along but if you don't play along i feel like you're still going to be hurt but at least you didn't lose anything materialistically or any kind of time from it all right all right so in this whole situation well, this is a passion card reverse so it seems like this there's no passion in the situation Okay, this person is not attracted to you like you're attracted to them. Okay, but I feel like this person may act like they're attracted because they want something. And I keep hearing money, 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 and I'm feeling like it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but it could be anybody. But that's just the strongest energy and what I'm hearing um, right now from this situation. All right, so we're going to close off with the Wild Unknown Tarot. Sorry about the camera, guys. I'm going to try to fix it for the next reading, but. Sorry, I didn't make it to yours. All right. All right. What's going on with the Aries? Aries love reading for January 14th through the 24th, 2000, 21st, 14th through the 21st, 2018. What's going on with the Aries? Mm. Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? We're just going to get that out the way. All right. First card here is the Nine of Swords. So that is this card. You know, somebody can't sleep. Somebody's, um, when they do sleep, having bad dreams. Um, I feel like a lot of messages coming in these, in these dreams, but I feel like somebody has a lot of anxiety about this situation and they're stressed out. Somebody just don't know what to do. Okay, so the ace of so I mean ace of wands reverse. I wanted to say sword, so I do feel like somebody is in denial about this person. Somebody knows they're bad, but they don't think they're as bad as they are. But this ace of wands also is basically this card is no passion, no emotion there, no love there, you know. But I feel like somebody's trying to manipulate and act like it is there, you know, just to be a part of your life just for a little bit for some kind of monetary gain, okay? All right, so the Wheel of Fortune, that's like this card. So it seems like that those are the main points here. It seems like you're stressing out big time about, you know, the lack of passion in this situation and the lack of emotion uh, that you were getting. But I feel like this person is going to give you that just to um, hold you back and just get the little bit that they want from you. But this Wheel of Fortune um, is still upright, just like this one is. I feel like you are going to get a message from this. And I feel like this lesson is going to uh, be beneficial to you in the future, all right? But let's see what this Nine of Swords is about. All right, Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person is faking. This person is acting like, you know, you know everything, acting like they're putting everything in front. They're not, you know, they're trying to trick you, okay? They're being sneaky. And I feel like this person is trying to argue with you to, to make it seem like you're wrong about what you're feeling and what you're thinking, okay? And then I do feel like there's arguing going with these family and friends that are trying to help you, okay? All right, so we got the Daughter of Swords here. So it seems like this person has... This stalking card, I feel like it may be coming from you. I feel like you want to see what's going on with this person because of all this anxiety and stuff going on, okay? But I feel like there is some stalking going on, but this whole reading could be reversed as well. This could be happening. You could be doing this to somebody. You could be um, just trying to get in good for a little while to get what you want, okay? 
All right, but there is some definitely stalking going on, okay? But I feel like somebody also tried to calm down with all the, um, just the, the irritating things that they do to you just to get in good, just to manipulate you, okay? All right, what is this Ace of Wands reversed? All right, so we got the Father of Swords here. So it seems like, I feel like there's a lot of analyzing of the situation going on. I feel like both parties know that the passion is gone there. But it seems like somebody is trying to analyze. I feel like you are trying to analyze the situation to get this passion back. And I feel like the other person is analyzing this situation to get what they want. Okay. All right, yes, so we got the Five of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. So it seems like the situation will be over. I feel like somebody is going to be a little depressed and hurt by the whole situation. But I feel like it's going to be um, just a stepping stone for you in the future to believe yourself and the things that you feel about people. Go for it. If all your friends are saying this, if you're feeling this, having dreams of this, this stuff is true, you know. So it be, it's mostly like a trust in yourself kind of situation. All right, so when I was shuffling at the beginning, I saw the uh, Atlantis card. This six of um, cups to me is like the Atlantis card. If it didn't happen, it's getting ready to happen for you. If this is your reading. But this also makes me feel like at the end of this situation, you're just going to have a more stable outlook, a more balanced outlook on relationships and, and what you want in, in emotional, in, emotionally in a relationship, okay? All right, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.